What is up guys, Bubbles back in with a brand new video and today I want to try a brand new legendary enchant, something that actually did come out with this TBC expansion, something that was found recently and uh, even as I start it, people are pinging me in my discord telling me it's really good and I gotta give it a try. So we are gonna go for it today, hope you guys enjoy and let's jump right in. <laughs> Okay guys, so I went ahead and I leveled to 18. So we're ready to go, ready to get to level 70. And these are the abilities I started with and I'll show you guys my skill cards in a moment as well. So I've got the regrowth, we've got the wrath. Wrath is gonna be key for this build. We'll read out the enchant in a moment as well. I started with tame dragonkin and I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, we have fire blast for some reason, probably won't be using that. And then the shaman tree, I got the flame tongue weapon for now and the earth shock, which is definitely required for the build. Now for my cards, my friends, Friends. I am going with Arcane Power, Power Infusion, Elemental Mastery, and Molten Armor. You might be wondering why I would take both of these even though they share a cooldown. The reason is that I can use one after the other for a lot of spell casting speed and that's exactly what I plan to do. I've also got Lucky Card at Earth Shock, which you saw that I got. Firestone, but I do need to get, uh, this is kind of an oversight on my part, but some kind of Soul Shard Generator to make this happen. I do have Flame Tongue Weapon if this uh, doesn't end up happening. Insect Swarm, Fell Armor, Star Surge and Chain Lightning, these two of which I definitely need for the build. But what is the build? Well, I'll put up on the screen right now exactly what I had to do to acquire this. So it started off with me going to the Ascension Collectors Discord and checking out exactly how to make this happen. Uh, link in the description below, by the way, if you guys are curious where to get all the World Forge enchants. It is not my Discord. These guys are just awesome for putting this together, so I like to shout them out. And uh, I went all the way to where they told me to go. I had to complete a quest chain all the way in Zangramarsh to make this happen. Once I did that, I could fly all the way with the last part of the chain to Nagrand to a floating island and there and only there could I turn the quest in and get Verdant Convergence, a brand new legendary enchant. It's a big old paragraph, but I think it's going to be really, really fun. I've heard some stuff about this being very, very good. So let's check it out, my friends, exactly what is going down. So Verdant Convergence, master the solar cycle to unleash devastating nature magic. We start off with Solstice Ascendancy, uh, Earth Shock triggers solar eclipse. Wrath gains additional 30% critical strike chance during solar eclipse. Nature's Grace also increases your chance to trigger lightning overload. That's a talent. Uh, lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning increase the duration of Solar Eclipse and decrease the duration of Lunar Eclipse. So in other words, when I'm in my Lunar Eclipse, I want to Lightning Bolt. Admittedly, I'm not sure when I'm supposed to be Wrathing. It also kind of implies they want me to Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning to keep up the Solar Eclipse. But actually, as I look at it, I think the idea is that in Solar, I spam Wrath and then I proc with Lightning Overload off Nature's Grace, instant free Lightning Bolts and, you know, use Chain Lightning on cooldown. And that is what will upkeep the duration of the solar eclipse. That's my first impression. As we go down though, we have also Earth Pulse Agony, unlocked by having Insect Swarm, triggered when casting Wrath while both Solar Eclipse and Lightning Mastery are active, so that's why I need that. And it says it causes the target to take additional nature damage over 14 seconds, stacking up to three times. So I cannot use Insect Swarm myself anymore, it'll just proc off the Wrath apparently and stack, so that's actually a nice quality of life. Then we have Sunburst, which is a new version of Star Surge, excited for this. It does nature damage to the target and up to four nearby enemies within five yards. Cool cleave. And then lastly, Dawn. Gain one stack every three seconds when you're in Lunar Eclipse. Stack three times. Every stack allows your next Sunburst to become instant cast and have no cooldown. Massive. Hitting a player with Sunburst will remove all stacks and prevent its generation. So, you know, some PvP balance stuff there. This seems pretty cool. I'm excited to give it a try, guys. So, we're going to start leveling and we're going to see if this builds any good. 346 minutes later. All right. So the truth is, I just went through a few days of just trying to play with this build, and uh, it just doesn't work the way you would think it works. It's weirdly, I don't want to say badly, but I'll say weirdly designed. Here's why I say that. There are definitely viable ways to play this build. They're out there, and they're really freaking good, and we're about to do one ourselves. The problem is that you would actually think that if you're going to have a legendary enchant, that everything mentioned in the legendary enchant is something that you have to use for the build. That is not the case with Averted Convergence. A lot of what is in this is literally dead. It's just dead. Earth Pulse Agony, dead. Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning Synergy, dead. Earth Shock, 
okay, you know, but kind of basically dead. And so really the best parts of this are the wrath, the nature's grass, the sunburst is the literal only reason to play it in many ways, and the dawn giving you the instant sunbursts, right? So that's something to think about when we continue this uh, video, basically, is that wrath, nature's grass, sunburst, that's going to be the way to go. All the shaman crap is garbage and probably pointless, and the whole enchant could just ixnay all of that, and it would just still be really good. So that's not great design in that regard, but again, it still works if you play it in some of these other ways. I'm going to, as you can see, already get into a new group, going to actually go for a prestige. I'm still going to start with a dragon, so I'm going to make sure I get that real quick. It's not part of anybody's build, but it's what I want to do. However, I will try to make sure I get Starfire, just in case. Uh, a lot of builds aren't using it, some of them are. I also do want the Arcane Explosion, so we'll make sure we get that, because some builds do use them. And I think I'll start Dragon plus Arcane Missiles. So I wonder, can I get Wrath? Yes, I can. So we'll Lucky Card the Wrath as well. Just make sure we get it, right? because I don't have a lucky card arcane missiles. As for my lucky golden, this used to be elemental mastery, but I'm not sure if that's even worth it. And I don't have icy veins as a golden. Otherwise I would go icy veins power infusion. I guess we could go flame tongue weapon. You're really limited, right? Um, in some ways I wish there weren't separations between golden and normal, but perhaps it was just that you could purchase normal cards with money if you wanted to akin to a golden card, right? I understand why they don't do that. It might just be too easy. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyway, I think we'll just go with the flame tongue weapon. It's better than not. And this is gonna be my lucky setup right now and yeah okay let's uh grab an aura i didn't have much to show you with the first run because it was that bad trying to make the lightning bolt chain lightning stuff work and depressing i did get some cool stuff though i can at least tell you that some 70 stuff right now to start the journey with tarok shadow staff of course we're gearing an intellect character from scratch right now so that's why it's lower item level stuff but mythics have come out and gruel's lair might have already come out as well we'll see exactly how much i can grind in one video and really short period of time, right, to make that happen. I just got done working a 63-hour week on Koa because I'm enjoying it so much and I genuinely want it to be really, really good. And so that's why some videos haven't been coming out at a super big speed. I am a workaholic, my friends. It's just channeling in a different direction right now. But anyway, I got some new rings as well, some decent stuff to start off with, but mostly level 60 stuff right now. So we've got quite a lot of uh, progress to make. So let me get to 70 one more time and we'll see if we can actually make this happen and do big DPS. Okay, so I'm in a regular Karazhan on a 93 item level character right now. It's extremely low. That's why we're doing normal. See if we can grab some gear real quick. And we'll also be able to find out if this build is any good. Now, here's what I can say, and probably some of what I've shown you already, is that the DPS is surprisingly high for having almost no gear. It's probably going to get nerfed. I didn't say it's the best. It's just, it's easy, you know? And so when something's super easy, like Dragon Warrior was in many ways in the past, and you also do the best DPS, I think that's uh, is, it's just a prime candidate for a nerf. Didn't say it was right or wrong. Said it's a prime candidate, and it's obvious. So I'm going to wrap. I procs my Lunar Eclipse. I'm gonna go Starfire. I'm getting Dawn Stacks right now. When this gets to three, I'll unleash my Sun Bursts. So right here. So I'm getting Dawn Stacks every three seconds in here. Character kind of spazzes out while that happens. Starfire, Earth Shock, Star Burst right here. I'm now in Solar Eclipse, and I'm gonna be going for Wraths during this. This is the Dookie stage, right? Uh, it's the Dookie stage because you don't get any Sunburst procs. Now we're gonna go on to this part of the fight. And now we're in a uh, Solar Eclipse once again. We can go for the Starfires. We're getting Dawn stacks. It's actually fun in this one. We're going to get one more stack in a moment. Here it is. I'm just going to unleash. Unleash again. Character spazzes out while I unleash. We have one more right here. We're into the Solar Eclipse. You can see the Earth Shock's not really necessary with this version, right? Because, okay, I don't want to be standing in the fire. But I can keep going for the Wrath. Uh, I'm not using the Starburst Barrage. I don't know if that's worth using single target. Maybe I should just do it right here. I don't know. I really don't know if that's actually worth anybody's time. We're back in uh, Lunar, though. Go for the Starfire. We're getting Dawn. Same concept, right? Remember, I have absolutely no gear, so I'm just curious how much single target I can do right now. Let's spaz out with the Dawn stacks. Cool. Into a Starfire. Starburst. Into a Starfire. Okay, he's dead. I got 5.6k which is surprisingly about the same as I was getting on my melee builds from uh, previous videos where I had 15 to 20 more item levels. I mean, more close to the 20 than the 15 as well. That is uh, broken because this is better in AoE than single target. I'm going to go for the spectral band. Why not? Do I win it though? I kind of want this. I did not win it. Damn, that sucks. I kind of want this simply because it's so much better than what I've got. I'm just going to do it. I did win. Nobody wanted it. So whatever. I have level 60 gloves on right now. Tells you a lot. I'm missing a lot of stats. And obviously I could just put it on because... Uh, answer on the player character now and not on the gear. I still love that, but I'm not really sure if it's going to be something that we keep remembering as being a big deal. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make any sense, but it's just so good, dude. 
Uh, we can actually Starburst Barrage here. We start bursting. Okay, so like right here. Let's see if I can make it happen. So I can Starburst Barrage. 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 Another little barrage. Nice. Another barrage. Another one or burst at this time. Look at that. First place right there. And it's not even close. And you don't use the majority of the enchant. As I told you guys, somebody just pulled Mirage. Hello? Hello? What's going on? Did I just start? Yeah, I just started solar. I should not have started solar. That's actually nasty. I don't know why the muscle memory made me do that. I listened to the voices, my friends. I should not have. We're going to keep spamming wrath. This is like a fight that I should dominate too. That's the sad part about it. Because of all the AoE. Just watch. So one, two, three. Yes, I am going to be AoEing down Morose. I don't care. I have no shame, dude. I'm here to win. Uh, I'm just going to go for more uh, Starfires as well. Right here I can unleash. And then right here as well. Nice. Starfire to go into the solar eclipse. I should be eating something. Dude, I hate when I can't see the wine. It's so cringe and embarrassing. Like when I can't see one of the pieces of food on the table and you're just running around like a donkey looking for it while you're debuffed. And you know no one's watching you, but party's like, I bet everyone's watching me right now. Like I can't find the food. Like <laughs> It's just the worst, dude. All right, anyway, this guy's dead. Kind of a scuffy fight. Okay, these are actually really good necklaces. The brooch of unquenchable fury. That would be sick. I am not hit capped, by the way. Please think about how crazy this is in regards to my DPS. Just getting hit capped is going to bring me up exponentially. Oh, I just greeted. I, I didn't I tried to make sure I won first before I chose need or greed. I'm just screwed now, aren't I? I've already had multiple Kara runs where I got no gear. Yeah, I didn't win that one either. Damn. Damn, guys. I just won these ruby slippers, which were like a massive upgrade over what I had. Literally better in everything but armor, and who cares about that? And I honestly think they're good by themselves. But isn't that drip actually, like, sick, dude? Like, take a look at it for real, for real. The red pops. So you've got, like, this whole thing going down, and then boom, you know? Like, I've just got these red shoes on. Honestly, I was looking at it as I was running with my character. I was like, I gotta talk about it. It's really, really sick. And hey, we're getting some upgrades as well. I also got mitts of the tree mender, slightly better than the gloves I got before. And also, I don't believe anybody needed it, but hey, it was more SP for me. I'll definitely take that. And we're at 96.56 item level right now. Just gonna keep on going and hoping that we get loot. Not doing bad DPS wise either. Looking like top seven, something like that. When I'm not even supposed to be in Kara right now, I'd say that's actually pretty good. Okay, so we're at the end, my friends. We beat the last boss of a regular raid, and I've got to say, super surprised by how this build performed. I ended pure single target on this one, right? At 5.7k with 99 item level today. Nothing gemmed, no enchants, nothing like that. Level 60 gear literally all over the place, still on me, as you can see. And uh, I just, I can't say much else about it other than I'm impressed. So Decapitator dropped, don't care. Helm of the Fallen Defender. I do hope I win one of these. Evelyn won the first one. Gorilla gets a second. That sucks. Okay. And then we have a cape I can't use. Bow I can't use. So nothing. Lol. All right. Nice. Now, I actually did get this earlier. So there's that going for me. Headdress of the high potentate. Potentate? I don't even know how to say that word. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The point is, uh, we've got a brand new helmet that's not a level 60 helmet. I mean, that's not bad. And you have to keep in mind also, it's very inefficient gearing right now as well. So you just have to imagine what like a perfect 120-ish item level guy fully enchanted, and by perfect, I mean, like, actually goes for the right stats on their gear, and gets everything perfect. Like, I don't have Moonkin form. I almost considered not making this video because I couldn't get it, but as you can see, even though mana is a problem, it's not enough of a problem. It would be a problem, I think, in higher difficulties for me right now. Uh, but I did, like, three runs and did not get it, so it was what it was, but it's still doable. So I'm gonna keep on going, guys. I'm actually super impressed with this right now. So a lot has happened since I've not been playing as much Ascension. Gruul's Lair, Mythic, we're going to do Mythic Dungeons right now, so that's cool. I want to show you guys my enchants. I'm using Verdict Convergence. We know what that's about. Starburst Barrage. I used this many, many moons ago, but when I used it, it was pretty good. Turns out with this build, still pretty good. Just by simply casting Starfire or even my Star Surge analog, which is Sunburst, I'm able to get a super powered version of Arcane Explosion that I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be using on single target. Probably not, but in regards to AoE pull to pull, it just makes the burst even more ridiculous. I'm also using Nature Abhor's Order and the Natural Order, which is basically 10% Arcane Damage and 10% Nature Damage. I think this is most aptly um, stacked by utilizing the Sunburst spam and also going back and forth between Wrath and Starfire and even the Starburst Barrage to a lesser degree as well. I'm not exactly sure if this is perfect, but when I was seeing what some other builds were doing, this is what they were doing. With that being said, the build that I'm actually trying the most is this one. I've tried a few people's builds. I've been experimenting myself, have my own talent changes. I'll show you some of that. 
but this is the main one that I was looking at right now. So you can check out his build on the Hero Architect, but back to my enchant, it's basically what he did. Lunar Guidance, Nature's Grace, Nature's Majesty. We have a Soul Siphon one. What the hell? I don't remember having that. I might have done that on accident, dude. I'm, I'm going to change that. And then I have my hit rating stuff as well. I am only at 50 out of 127 for hit, so really far off too. Okay, so I'm just going to go with one Earth and Moon for 1% more damage, basically, and one Moon Fury, which is what the guide was doing anyway for more Starfire, Wrath, Star Surge damage. So that's what I'm going to do to fill out my enchants. Like I said, the talents are basically the same, but I took some out to go for a dragon, and uh, I just want to force the dragon. So let me show you the little dragon. I wanted to show you guys after the raid what was going on with this guy, um, and so we're going to see a different performance, I hope, with him. But this is my little dude, Little Tick. So I tamed this guy in Tenaris. He has a bunch of pretty mid uh, abilities that just do arcane damage, but it's cool. I have a little bronze drake as my hunter pet, basically. And if you go over here, you see what I get. I am going to be using, for the remainder of this video, Draconic Knowledge. It grants me a special effect based on the dragonkin that I have, based on the color of the dragonkin, in fact. Bronze, blue, red, green, black, and basically chromatic, but I guess there might be miscellaneous dragonkin I'm not thinking about. We have a bronze drake, so we're going to be getting 12% of my tamed dragon's intellect as haste. I would love to have a chromatic drake for the raw spell damage, but this is pretty good as well, and so we're going to try this one. To give you guys an idea of how much haste this is for me right now, let's just see. So if I have the enchant, my wrath is at 1.22, starfire 1.7. If I take the talent away, I'm at 1.26, 1.84. So it's 0. 0.6 basically and 0. 0.4 right there. And that's not to be undervalued. It's not like crazy, but every little bit helps. Like I said, I'd much rather have, uh, you know, 15% spell damage of my, you know, tamed dragon's intellect, but it's still pretty sick. And I think this guy can be buffed as well. But right now it looks like he just got some buffs actually. So that's pretty good. So a 1.21 cast on the wrath. I don't know. It just seems like it's fun and he does extra damage as well. We're going for the fun aspect, you know, my friend. So I want to do mythics in this video for sure, like I told you guys, and uh, I don't know if we'll find a ghoul's lair. I'd like to. It's really late at night though. But yeah, I want to keep progressing with the build. But one more thing before we do that is let me show you guys the AOE DPS on these dummies. I showed it a little bit before, but I think I can do better now. So I'm actually going to stack everything up real quick. It's slightly cheaty, but it's also not because I mean, if I go into a fresh pull with these stacks, which I would try to do, this is what would happen. So, okay. Now I back my guy off, send my dude in, and here's what we've got. So we starburst or sunburst. Sunburst again. I can do this. And how much is that? 31k for a second there, dude. 31k. My point is you have to think about sporadically throwing out 31k DPS with no item level and just like how that feels. You know what I mean? Because when you're in the flow of it in a dungeon, it happens a lot more often than you might think. Okay, let's make this happen. I need more gear, guys. We're so low right now. 102.25, but we've got a lot of progress to make. Two hours later. All right, guys. So I am actually in a mythic for the first time of all of TBC. And guess what? The guy that I've got in here is playing Electric Bugaloo Slammer, aka the Chinese Casino Slammer that we made a video on. Isn't that a freaking treat to see? Now I'm dominating. Um, I just got done doing some commentary and realized that my microphone wasn't working. So thank God I caught it now because the depression would have been palpable if I had got to the end of this dungeon and I did not record this because I know that this is about to be really, really good. We're in our lunar stand right now, or Aura, you could say. Um, I wish I had a gap closer to catch up because these guys are kiting. They're being gamers, right? We can sunburst. He reflects it, of course. Sunburst, 15k. Sunburst, 16k. We could do another sunburst. Ness, 8k, no crit. Okay, we did 5.4 there, but I didn't play for the first 40 or 30% of the guy's HP, as you guys saw. So I'd like to think I could do better. Let me show you guys what's going down. So I can go for a Starfire to build up the stack of Starburst Barrage before it goes away. Then I can use it. That's already crazy damage. I want a Wrath, though. The Wrath puts me into Lunar Stance. I have to wait 15 seconds after this drops or go into Solar Stance before I can do this again, by the way. Um, so you want to stay in Lunar as much as you possibly can. So I can actually Sunburst. Sunburst, sunburst, sunburst. Broken, 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 broken. Holy shit. It's one of the most broken builds I've played in a while. And I know they're going to nerf it in the depression about that, man. Like, I don't really want it nerfed. There aren't that many caster builds that give you this feeling. You know what I mean? Like, I'll be honest. I think the caster builds are often more complex than the range builds. I could be wrong. Uh, there's so many that at some point, I'm obviously not calculating all of them when I say that out loud. But among the ones I can think of at first glance, it like makes me feel like the casters are a little bit more difficult to play on average. I guess that's because when you think like melee build, you think, you know, one button. And you definitely had one button back in like vanilla, but classless is a little bit different. I mean, I, who knows? Maybe it's equal. It's not really the point. The point is, I don't really have anything on my mind right now for like a good overall solid, I didn't sunburst and I should have, but caster build that kind of does it all. 
for, I don't want to say minimal effort, but it, it just doesn't take that much skill. Like, similar to Dragon Warrior, anybody can do it, and they're going to be able to enjoy the content. This lets you do that. And because I can't think of another caster build that does it as effectively as this one, I like this one. Um, and so there's that. I am obviously biased, because when you're having this much fun, it's really hard to want it to be nerfed. Plus, I've heard that there are still, believe it or not, and perhaps scarily enough, um, better builds out there. They're just less common, or potentially harder to play. More likely, they're harder to build. As I told you guys, one of the things that's going to make this really nerfable is how easy it is to get it. Um, it takes almost nothing to get the skills you see right here. And that's because, of course, the enchant didn't end up using all of the stuff that it was supposed to use. Now, I hope they don't think we should actually change Verdict Convergence to use everything we put in the tooltip. I hope what they do is they change it to work with these types of abilities. And they just scrap the Shaman stuff entirely. If they're going to change it at all, right? If, you know, in other words, if they're going to clean it up. I don't want it changed. I just want it cleaned up and made clear that the Shaman stuff is irrelevant so nobody gets confused. Because the way it worked out for me, guys, is that because they confuse me like that, and I do blame them, right? Like, that's how I would do it. If I'm, like, a designer, it's my fault if something's not clear, and I'll always take the uh, rap for that. And I can't wait to uh, be held accountable for that when it comes to stuff like Koa. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, like, I went through an entire prestige reading the enchant and getting the abilities the enchant told me to get, only to find out that the enchant doesn't use the abilities adequately that I actually was told to get, therefore wasting a lot of my day and making me sad. Depressing me to a degree in which I almost didn't do the video on this build. So I cannot be the only one who would be very unhappy with that kind of outcome. So the enchants need to actually do what they say they're going to do with the things they're going to make you use. Typically, they're great about this. This is a new one, though, and obviously they succeeded because the one that I'm playing right now, the version that uses it, is super fun and awesome. But it's almost like if you wanted the shaman stuff to be real and the earth pulse agony, make a different enchant with it. Really, what Verdant Convergence truly is, is a sunburst spec. You could even rename it if you wanted to, but I don't think you have to. It's Sunburst. That is what it is. And that's what we're going to be playing for the rest of the video, obviously, is a Sunburst spec. It's the whole theme of the entire build. I mean, my DPS is so high, dude. I have 113 item level, so we've made some gains. A lot of gains. Significant gains. 20 item level worth of gains, at least. A little bit more, perhaps. And, yeah, I mean, it's a casual domination fest. Like, I had to put in so much... I mean, even, look, let me put it like this. Even with a cast sequence macro um, build... Like I've been playing recently, just to show off the one-button builds and stuff like that. Those are harder to play than this one. And you know why? Because the other ones give me carpal tunnel syndrome. And, and this one doesn't, because there's more things going on, and it's like more channel-based. I don't know, it's like less heavy on the fingers, man, and the, and the hand. It's just, this is so easy. Even though it's more buttons, theoretically, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, that's how crazy it is. And plus, I think there's something to be said about when a build takes, um, like, a lot of RPM or just a lot of, like, skill to memorize the rotation. And then you look to the bottom right, and your DPS is garbage. Um, so when you have to put in, like, a lot more effort to any varying degree just to get your DPS up, I think it adds a mental weight um, on top of, like, the baby physical weight of the carpal tunnel syndrome and stuff like that. And I don't think that that's something that should be shied upon. Like, I think it's actually a big deal. I'm not even making that up. So I think, like, when I'm playing a build like this, and theoretically, obviously, there's more buttons I'm pressing, the fact that my DPS is high means I'm having fun. You know, the fact that I can actually compete with the abilities I throw out there means it's consistently fun. And uh, that's, like, a lesson, I think. These guys don't have to be lower than me for this to be fun. I just have to not be this guy, the tank, basically. And I just have to not use a million buttons just to be in last. You know, it's like, I don't know. Somebody has to be last, and I get that. It's inevitable. But the gaps don't have to be so large. Now, I'm not letting my uh, dragon attack right now. Mostly because he's actually been dying quite a lot, sadly um, enough. So, I don't want him to die. I wonder if Ascension has the AoE damage reduction thing on all the pets. I wonder. Maybe they do, but my pet has actually died. And I don't feel like pets should die in PvE, basically, ever. I mean, obviously, if you're tanking mobs with it, it should die. But mine wasn't, and it still died. So it must have died to AoE or something, which is just weird. But notice how I'm just, like, always in first. Like, I, I like to talk, just so I can show you guys with some of these builds sometimes, how easy they truly are. Because, as I tend to say, if I can talk the whole time casually and play the game, and I always do these live, or if I don't, it's obvious, I feel like, um, then it must be easy to play. Because that means you could sit here by yourself, do your own thing, right? Casually watch something on another monitor, and not suck. 
and, and I don't think that that's something to rate low, you know, like that's, oh my god, 20k, 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 12, 19k, like that is so satisfying, it's unbelievable, don't change that, please. So yeah, I cannot recommend this build enough, it's just the kind of build I need to do like another video after a while, to be real with you. And it's a caster build, which is nice, I've been doing way too much melee, and it's different, it uses druid skills, I mean, it feels good, dude, it feels really good. Plus, we're in a dungeon, we don't do that often, mana tombs. I mean, really, it couldn't go any better than it is right now in many ways. So watch me just absolutely dumpster everybody. I could send my pet in. I'm going to dumpster everybody right now. So we're going to go for a Starburst Barrage. Now, boom. Boom. Bam. Shabloom. Kebab. And everybody's dead. And I'm 15k DPS. And I just did more DPS than every other guy combined. And that's the real talk right there. Like, add the numbers, bro. Now, this says a lot, right? Because, like, obviously, it's all the build right now. And that's what Ascension is about. And I feel like people forget that. It's less likely the people that are doing the good builds that forget that. It's more likely the people that are like, huh, how come that guy has 10, 12, 15k DPS? He must be the best player in the world. And I'm not doubting skill. I'm only trying to give you guys perspective so that you can be the best, which is that it's more about the build you play. It always has been less about how good you are at the game. As long as you know how to play WoW, if somebody gives you the right build, you can be first place DPS as well. Of course, you got to get the gear, but you know, there's that as well. Always has been. It's an MMORPG. But I just think it's super important, right? Just always understand that this is not the highest RPM game. This is not even like Retail Mythics. Retail Mythics actually skill checked me. And I felt like I'd have to actually devote myself to it and learning it and practicing the mechanics to continuously be good at it. Um, and that's a whole different story than um, just being smart enough to come up with a really good build, which I'm not downplaying being smart enough to come up with a good build. Obviously, like card game type things where only one person ever gets to show their skill when it comes to creating something new because then everybody copies after that are a lot lower in my mind on the rank order of skill, you know, across video games compared to something where you're just genuinely skill checked every single time based on the mechanics that you encounter um like i just said about retail but other games as well like i talked about this with a friend the other day i said i can't play shooting games when i was a kid i was you know better than my brother or something like that better than my friends that were like in real life but if i went online i got shat on like instantaneously as I grew up and played less and less of those games, obviously I became worse because I didn't have any practice, but also, as I said, naturally bad. And I couldn't get into stuff like Fortnite because I just sucked. Like, I could not be good at that game. I mean, maybe with a shit ton of practice, but it just wasn't there for me. So like, there's different skill sets with every type of game. You know what I mean? That's, I guess my point. It's just identifying which one the ascension is. Again, it's all about the build. So copy this build. I mean, I don't know why I'm actually below this guy right now. But yeah, I highly suggest you copy the build because I promise you, I mean, I literally don't know this for a fact, but I can promise you based on my intuition that they will nerf this. Um, so it, because it's so easy to build, you just need Wrath, Starfire. You maybe need Earthshock. Not that it's hard to get it anyway, but maybe. I don't even care about it, to be honest with you. Um, and you need Arcane Explosion for the Starburst Barrage. You need about 200 gold to buy all the epic enchants you need. Maybe like 75 more to get the rares. Um, and you're good, dude. You are good. Oh, yeah. You also need uh, like Starburst or whatever Sunburst uh, transforms from. Star Surge. But that's super easy as well. So I'm just, you know, casually dominating. Let's see if we can actually come out first place at the end with this boss. Nice. Sunburst. 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 I just love this part, dude. The sunburst stage is so well designed in my mind. Uh, because I like to crux the good design on what it makes you feel. I think a lot of people fuck that part up, to be honest with you. They don't think too much about how it makes you feel. They might think about the artistic approach to it. They might think about the raw numbers. Does it have enough raw numbers? But there's this, you know, more colloquial, overarching basis to everything when it comes to gaming. And it's how it makes you actually feel as you're playing it. If it does big numbers, but you feel bad, somebody will play it, but most won't. If it does crappy numbers and you feel like garbage the entire time or you don't have enough gap closers or PvP applicability and you're trying to, you know what I'm trying to say? If you don't have certain things, you don't have the right feel, it just doesn't matter about the performance. And so what makes this feel good is the big number on my screen, the satisfying visual and the animation, and the fact that it's spammable multiple times in a row. I love it. 10k DPS, mythic loot, first time really seeing it. And we've got ethereal boots of the Sky Strider. Not better than my ruby slippers, sadly. Although it might actually be. I lose hit rating, which is the only reason it's not. So I won't take that, I think. Axe of the Nexus King is cool, but no. Um, a new ring. I need all of the hit rating I have right now, which is like a really big problem. I am hit capped, but I had to take away a lot of talents. Believe it or not, I am not at peak power right now because I had to take talents away. I think I could go for this stuff for when I actually don't care as much and I have good hit rating. Did anybody need this stuff? You know what? Because people need it, I'm going to uh, pass, pass, and pass. 
So this guy had a field day. You know what? Let's keep going. The DPS is sick, dude. All right, guys. We have another dungeon to do. I want a big pull, though. Give me a big pull just once. Fizzle that guy real quick. Interrupt it. Let's keep running with the tank. Okay, he's rounding up a bunch at once. All right, let's just do it. I'm going to go for the wrath. Of course, we all know why. Let's just pop some cooldowns because it looks like it's a biggish pull. One, two. We'll go bam. Boom. Sunburst. Sunburst. Another one of these. Sunburst. <laughs> Another sunburst. I didn't even hit every target. Oh, that's a good feeling. And an even better start. Somehow we actually wiped. Maybe that pull was way too big. Anyway, uh, still destroying and loving it, dude. Now, there was just a DC, just a restart. Did they sneak a nerf in? I don't know. Damage is looking kind of low, lol. When I mean, that's low. Sunburst. Sunburst. Sunburst again. Starburst barrage. Sunburst again. Sunburst again. Go for a starfire into a barrage again, right? Bam. We are right in solar, too. Wow, a couple of uh, free epics just dropped. Hello? They're not good for me, but they're, like, not bad overall. You know what's interesting? Like, you literally go into Lunar and AFK for a sec if you want. Like, you can Starfire. I don't even think the guy's build that I copied cared about Starfire. I mean, maybe he did, to be honest. I don't know, literally. But I know that I can basically skip it and wait for Sunburst procs. When this starts glowing down here, I can just start going hard. And just getting huge crits that are super satisfying. So it's just about getting into the Lunar Eclipse all the time. That's literally the whole point of the build. Now, I do wish I had Moon Kanara, still not gonna lie. But the mana's going up decently. All right, big barrage. Sunburst. 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 Another big barrage. I love the synergy. With Starburst Barrage and also the sunburst it's actually really really good synergy okay at least we won an item by the way scintillating or scintillating headdress of second sight more sp by 17 dude crazy crazy gear right now from the mythics 16 34 bonus damage right now and this one actually matches me like look what i had before like what is this even on right now literally my mohawk was holding up my little halo headband so at least this uh actually looks normal Just a casual 46.5k DPS pull, no big deal, just doing it in dungeons. Just so people know that when I was showing it on dummies and it looked like, oh, that might not happen often. No, it can. It just naturally happens and you get to be on the top of the DPS charts, absolutely smashing it. Um, love it, dude. Absolutely love it. We're on the last boss, pure single target on this guy. Uh, let's go for a Starfire and let's go Earthshock. That puts me in the solar while I sunburst. I think I'm going to sunburst one more time. I think by the time it comes up off cooldown, I'll be ready to go for the instant casts again. Maybe I do this as well. Let's just single target right there. Okay, there is a little bit of AoE now, of course. I, you know, give in on that. Uh, okay, now we're back into this. Oh, I'm Oom! I'm Oom! He's almost dead, so I'm just getting my procs off when I can. Another Starfire into a proc. Another Starfire into a proc. Let's just go for another sunburst. Oh, he died, and I came in first place with 8.5k on the high end there before it goes down on this last thing. Who I always forget about, so 8k. All right, I'll take that, dude. Sick DPS for a low item level and low gear fidelity. Um, wowza. Super big fan of this right now. Really enjoying it. Seriously recommend. So yeah, listen guys, what can I say? Here's some more clips in the background of me absolutely pumping. This is probably seven item levels ago or something like that. This build is clearly above average. Um, here's the thing. It's not even that the peak DPS is super broken. It's the way that they get there being extremely fast, which puts it above average, I would say for sure. It's not even close. You can go for the sunbursts. You can go for the starburst barrage and you can pump. There are other versions of this spec out there that you will notice by the way people using arcane missiles people using all sorts of stuff maybe somebody is out there that is utilizing the lightning bolt aspect of this build i haven't seen it yet maybe i'm wrong there but listen the one i'm trying is so insane to be able to casually pump out 40 to 50k aoe dps that's crazy i mean you're a good aoe dps spec if you could casually pump out 20 to 30 you're considered really good i think or 35 and we're doing a Above that without trying with doo, doo gear i mean that's not normal the single target is still good as well although obviously the single target is not the strong suit it's still better than every build we've played recently overall highly once again 
highly recommend you try this build before it goes away because I don't think it will stay, but that's just me. Well, you know, I don't know. Anyway, listen, it's an awesome build. It's the sunburst build. It's insane DPS, and I really enjoyed playing it. Okay, so the truth is, guys, uh, we made a lot of progress in this video. I got 113.53 item level from like 90, um, which is awesome. I have nothing but level 70 gear at this point. I'm not even gemmed or anything yet. No professions on this guy, no enchants, and I'm doing more DPS than every other build I've played the entire season. Highly recommend you guys give it a try, but that's going to have to be the end of the video. Listen, major thanks to all the members on my channel. Love and appreciate you guys. Still working on more videos, still working on Koa. I'm doing a lot, my friends. 20 hour day on one of these days on Koa. So anyway, love you guys. Love my members. Appreciate all of you, but I'll see all of you on the next one. Big doubles out.